This is Insider Medicine in 60. From London, drug manufacturers and the Alzheimer's Society are claiming victory over the NHS. A judge has ruled that NIC's recommendation that doctors use language-based tests to assess the severity of Alzheimer's disease discriminates against those with a learning disability and those whose first language isn't English. The judge, however, didn't go against the recommendation to offer the medicines only to those with advanced disease. From Cambridge, a hormone linked to controlling feelings of hunger may also be linked to influencing the desire to eat certain foods. The study illuminates a biological link between leptin and food desires, which may be linked to overeating. This finding may lead to the development of new treatments for obesity. From Minnesota, smokeless tobacco is no better than smoking it. In a pooled analysis of six studies, smokeless tobacco users had a 73% higher level of NNK, a carcinogen that is linked to many types of cancers, including lung cancer. And finally, from Toronto, a tattoo parlor outside of Toronto has been closed down by local health authorities due to the alleged use of non-sterile equipment. This serves as a reminder that getting tattoos with non-sterile equipment can put you at risk for hepatitis and HIV. For Insider Medicine in 60, I'm Maria Radina.